Hey there, Jose Villablanca here, personal trainer, and I'm gonna show you how to work out with a sandbag. It's a really great tool, especially if you're bored doing the same machines, dumbbells and barbells. With this, um, it's very versatile, as I'll show you different exercises. It's really good for fat burning, toning up, and defining, all right? So first of all, I'm gonna show you the first exercise here. It's uh, lunges. So we're gonna do side lunges, keeping the weight up around your um, arms here, resting on your elbows and forearms, okay? So the insides of your elbows, forearms, and your biceps as well. From there, what you do is lunge to the side, back up, keeping the planted leg straight, all right? So you wanna bend your left knee, as you can see here, down, keeping your spine straight. Now you do the other side and repeat. Okay, as you can see, my planted leg is still straight, keeping my spine in good alignment and bending from the hips and the knees. All right, that's the first exercise. So now we're gonna be doing a bent over row with sandbags. What you wanna do is have your feet shoulder width apart, Bend your hips until your spine is parallel to the floor, well, right before that. And then keep your spine in good alignment and don't lock your knees. From there, what you want to do is pull your elbows up as high as you can, squeezing your shoulder blades together as you pull up and dropping back down. All right, so squeeze up, pull your elbows up as high as you can, squeeze the shoulder blades together, pulling the shoulders back and back up. Try not to move the uh, torso and keep it in good alignment, okay? It's all in the arms. This works your back and your shoulders, your rear delts, and your biceps. So now we're gonna do an overhead squat. How you wanna do that is have the weight right above you, so the sandbag right high up, arms straight. From there, what you wanna do is go with a shoulder width, wider than shoulder width stance, toes slightly pointing outwards, and locking your shoulders, keeping it firm, just squat down, and back up as long as you can, all right? Down, so thighs are parallel to the floor and back up for now. Down, so depending on your shoulder mobility, this can dictate if you can do it or not. And if you can't, you can just basically put it in front of you here and just squat and back up. So as you can see, I can get deeper into the squat and back up. Now we're gonna be doing push-ups using the sandbag. We're actually using the sandbag more as a platform than a, a weight resistance itself, okay? So it gives you more range of motion into one arm. So what you want to do is get into push-up position, like so, keeping a good alignment, dropping down, do it, and coming back up with a push-up, and then move to the other side and repeat. Because the platform is unstable, you definitely work more of your stabilizing muscles. get into the uh, single leg deadlift. Um, what you want to do here is remember to keep your shoulders back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, keeping the chest out, and again, keep your uh, spine in neutral alignment. From there, you just uh, lift one leg up, bend over, keeping your uh, shoulders and hips square to the ground, and then return back up to center. Repeat for a certain number of reps, and then switch to the other leg. Same thing, shoulders back, chest out, spine in good alignment, bending from the hips and not the back. And back up. Drop down and back up. All right, so now we're gonna do shoulder presses. What you wanna do is put the uh, sandbag on one side of your body, so right above the shoulder, lift it straight up and back down to the other side. Make sure you do even numbers so you do both uh, shoulders equally. Simple enough. So now we're going to do the last exercise of the circuit and it's the uh, setups with the sandbag. What you want to do is get in sit, sit up position with your feet flat on the ground, knees bent. As you can see, this is a starting position. From there, you're going to hold the sandbag on each end and pretty much crunch up and slowly lower yourself down. Touching your bag back here, crunch up and slowly lower yourself down. Up. So you've seen all the exercises that I just showed you. 
Now I'm gonna put it all together into a circuit and I just want you to know that I'm just gonna be doing a few reps for each just so that you have an idea of how to do the circuit. Just to let you know that sandbags are great for fat burning, toning up, trimming down, and just looking better and feeling better in general. Visit our website, sign up to our newsletter to get a downloadable version of the sandbag workout that I just showed you. Thank you and I'll talk to you soon.